Hello Cancer, it's Jen with Bohemian Path Tarot and we're doing a reading today with the Unfolding Path Tarot and I've been apologizing to all the signs because I've got a new camera set up and I'm still navigating the displaying the card in focus. So bear with me as I build this skill but I'm gonna go ahead and give the deck a good shuffle for you, and I'll meet you on the other side for your reading. Okay, Cancer, let's see what we've got. Got the Page of Wands, the Star, the Devil, the Hanged One. So you can't get quite get this one in. See. There we go. The Hanged One. So the Hanged One speaks to a time when you might be feeling a bit of stagnation, but it's kind of the darkness before the dawn bit. You'll see in most, you know, sometimes this card is called the Hanged Man in other decks. In this one, it's called the Hanged One or Hanged, just Hanged. <laughs> Uh, but it speaks to kind of that, that moment just as you're experiencing an epiphany, just as you're experiencing a, a, a big idea. Uh, so the hanged, the hanged one is typically um, upside down, getting a new perspective on life, and that kind of shift allows for that, you know, that new viewpoint, that new way of looking at something gives the hanged one an epiphany that kind of leads to a transition or a, a sort of transformation. Let's take a moment to note that you have the hanged one, the star and the devil, three major arcana cards uh, in a reading where I only pulled four cards. So this is kind of big deal stuff, right? This is kind of a big shift. So I think, you know, as I'm recording this, I'm recording this as the sun is moving into Aquarius, as Pluto is changing signs. So a lot of us are experiencing or about to experience a big shift. And that's what we're seeing in your reading here kind of more obviously than I've seen in some of the other readings. So moving on to the next card, the Page of Wands augurs a time where there's kind of a new excitement about maybe a creative project, possibly a job, something that you have some sort of ego attachment to, but that um, fills you with inspiration, something you're passionate about, right? So this is kind of the beginning pages are like the beginning part of that cycle of um, enthusiasm, building something creative or following a creative passion. For some folks, this could be something like joining a uh, a group that allows you to express yourself creatively like a band or a theater group or something like that. Um, even a knitting group or a sewing group where you get together painting, something like that. Uh, this could also be literally a um, athletic endeavor where you, you join a group maybe to train for a marathon or just join a new gym or take belly dance classes, sign up for a belly dance class, something like that. It's something that, that you're so passionate about uh, that it actually gives you energy and, it, and, and you use energy as your inspired physical energy. Um, it's, a, it's a very active process. 
So however that speaks to you, um, there's a new phase of building building that piece, the creative or possibly athletic, active um, project. Now, the next card we have here is the star, which is associated, let's see if I can get it in. Oops. Uh, the star is associated with Aquarius. Can we get it here? Oh my goodness, I don't want to chase this. But, uh, Sometimes when I do this, okay, let's see, does that help? No, there we go. Isn't that gorgeous? The star card is associated with Aquarius. So this could literally be speaking to, you know, this, this project or whatever this big idea is, um, back here, uh, being started in Aquarius or, um, having to do with Aquarian ideals. Aquarian ideals would be something like, it could be technology, um, it could be hum a humanitarian project, joining a humanitarian group. Um, but again, for some of you, it might literally be that, you know, the star, like, um, you know, the acting thing, you know, being kind of a little star in your theater group or something like that. Um, it's certainly a time when a wish or a goal can come true. It's definitely a, a great omen to keep moving forward, to keep pursuing your passion, um, to keep um, to put to keep putting energy in this big idea you had in the the hanged one card. Maybe I should just do it like that. Now, let's get to the tricky one. We have the devil. The devil could be speaking to uh, Capricorn season ending because, you know, it's uh, the devil is associated with Capricorn and Saturn and kind of Capricorn ideals. But the fact that it comes after this very Aquarius card and we're moving into Aquarius from Capricorn to Aquarius, I think this is speaking to something else. Um, the devil sometimes comes up when we have an expectation of ourselves that is limited. When we feel bound or stuck to something that is keeping us kind of small or even trapped. It's related to fear in a way or um, you know, being afraid to be the whole big three-dimensional self, you kind of keep yourself bound to something. And what I mean by that would be, you know, bad eating habits, an addiction like smoking or um, gambling online, alcohol. You know, there's, there's um, for some people, this would be a very straightforward sort of addiction. But sometimes we're just addicted to maybe programming we learned in childhood or after we had a bad experience in middle school and we started thinking of ourselves in one kind of way because of an experience that actually doesn't reflect the truth of us and certainly doesn't reflect the, the majesty um, that we are, the, the blessings that we have. So when this devil card comes up, it's for most of us, it's a reminder to think of think of yourself in bigger ways. Think of your the full expression of yourself and let go of those things that are maybe holding you back, keeping you bound, keeping you small. So for some people this could be like, you know, poor eating or alcohol. For some people this could be being stuck in a in a in a sort of toxic relationship could be family could be romantic something like that because you're afraid to see what else is out there sticking with the devil you know instead of um, trying something new instead of trying something healthier instead of believing you're worth something healthier it's um, curious that this card the devil comes after this card of 
you know, um, feeling like a star or, you know, getting the green light from the universe that it's a good and benevolent place for you to follow your passions. So I don't usually do this, but I am going to take a look at what's at the bottom of the deck to see if that gives us any other encouragement or ideas about this. Oh, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the five of pentacles. And as a clarifier for the devil, the five of pentacles is a time when you're feeling, you know, um, like your resources are low. It's kind of feeling broke or maybe even a little broken. Sometimes it's feeling out, left out in the cold or abandoned. Sometimes it's feeling like you don't have enough to move forward and not knowing um, and not seeing what's available to you or, or, or being too proud to ask for help. Like if you need a little extra money or if you need a friend to run to the drugstore to pick you up some cold medicine because the five of pentacles can come up even when you're just when you've got a cold or something but it's typically a, a card of um, feeling like you have limited resources or not enough so it's a bummer that that comes up as a clarifier for the devil but I think what this reading is then getting to is you've got this great idea you've got this new profound new awareness um that is significant, that could be potentially life-changing, certainly um, put you in a new direction, in a healthier direction. And we've got the Page of Wands here, which is also active and inspired about moving forward, about trying, putting yourself out there, trying a new creative project or possibly uh, athletic project, active project, but it's certainly a positive active card. And we have a green light from the universe with the star card saying, you know, what you want uh, is, is practically preordained. You just got to keep following your star, keep following that path. And I would say, let go of, of whatever it is that is keeping you from believing you deserve to follow your passion or you deserve success with your passion project. Even if you're feeling like you're low on resources, maybe you feel you don't have the, the help or the finances or enough energy or time. Um, if, all of the other cards are saying, go for it. This is a life-changing moment. So step outside of the stagnation. Step outside of whatever is um, keeping you bound, keeping you small, keeping you feeling trapped. Because there is this whole other reality that is just waiting for you. if you have the courage to get on that path. Cancer, I hope that is encouraging. I hope that gives you some options, some food for thought at least. I hope you like this reading. Thank you so much for dropping by. Take good care of yourself.